goodbye $80 hotel room. You've been good to us. Very. And now we are going to get in an Uber to go get lunch and yeah. then walk to the bus station, which we thought was right next to our hotel, but turns out there are multiple of these stations and it's several miles away. So good thing we realized that. And yeah, we're going. All right, got our seats right up front for our bus to Bridgeport on Eastern Sierra Transit. of this whole thing lined with packs or stacked up with packs so we just unloaded the whole thing and reloaded it because the bus driver recently injured his elbow so also my back is mysteriously wet with an unknown substance <laughs> <laughs> yes pamela just found out <laughs> that google maps tells you which way you're facing or which way your phone is facing because she she asked me she's like why don't they just put an arrow like we're, on gaia we're trying like, to get to our hotel because i feel like whenever i'm navigating places i'm like well here's the street name and i try to look at surrounding places like okay well if that's the this hotel or that's the mcdonald's then we must be on this side of the street and going that way and sometimes i walk and it's the wrong way and then i have to turn around and, and I, henry's like they do and i'm like what and he's like the blue light. <laughs> Y'all know about this? There's a blue thing that I think is pretty subtle. I could just use an arrow. I never knew. It moves. My life is changed. Wow. How old were, were you when you learned how to blow your nose? Okay. I thought, I don't want to talk about it. I think it, it was college. You mean. Maybe medical school. Depends on how you define blow your nose. Okay. I knew about tissues and stuff. All right, this is our place. It's called the Silver Maple Inn, I think. You can see the mountains there. And we are room 18. So let's take a look, see what we got going on here. Our options were limited, so it's always exciting. These keys are so cute. Silver Maple Inn. This room's cute. All right. Little table, little bed, seems clean, little coffee pot, Ooh. and a bathroom. And a closet. Oh. An adorable closet. Shower. And an adorable closet. Look at this light fixture. What more could we want? This oh, is yeah. nice. That's a cool light fixture, yeah. I mean, that's nice. I love aspen trees i love the sound you can hear it now a little bit of the wind in their leaves and i love the bark these are a bit like bigger older aspens i feel like they're not quite as like that really light smooth bark that the young ones have but it's just really nice oh i love them i am obsessed with this motel this wooden table so nice. They have this mix of old and new that's done really well. And it has the highest lamp density of possibly any hotel room I've stayed in. And they're all really cool lamps. And the bathroom's wonderful. This place is amazing. We might be staying here another night because the bear canisters are very delayed. Susan mailed them days ago but they haven't been they've been in bakersfield for the last three days not moving per up usps tracking so we might be here another day we'll see i am on a mission to figure out what the food situation is while uh henry is studying um and we have we either have or are gonna have tomorrow when we go to the post office 
uh, most of our resupply, but I think we probably still need to do a little bit, but probably not gonna worry about that tonight. Um, bigger problem is we're supposed to be leaving tomorrow and it looks like our packages got delayed. I don't know if it was related to the hurricane or something else. So I don't know if they'll come tomorrow or not. Hopefully they will, but if not, we're just gonna have to wait here until they come because we definitely need our bear canisters. So I don't know to be determined on that, but our place is, um, is really cute. And um, yeah, so I don't know. Just gonna try to find us some dinner. Well, plan was to try to pick up some groceries at the general store, but uh, they closed early today. The sign said sorry for the inconvenience. So, uh, I'm now seeing what our restaurant options are. The lady at the hotel also said that we could go to the gas station. So maybe I'll go to the gas station and see what they have. I don't know, to be determined, to be continued. Well, after all of my looking, uh, I talked to Henry and we decided we'd get some stuff at the gas station. And then when I got to the gas station, they definitely had options, but they were more expensive than the restaurant we were gonna go to. So we're going back to that restaurant, but they closed in like 25 minutes, so. Anyway, that's what we're doing. This is not a good sign, everyone. Henry is walking toward me from the restaurant, pointing at me as if to say, turn around. The restaurant has closed early, which does not surprise me, but it does make me a little sad. Maybe we'll go back to the gas station? All right, we were on our way back to the gas station when we decided to go to, what was that place called? Rhino's, because we thought a baked potato sounded good. Henry, thoughts? It was a very good baked potato. It was good. It was unfortunately $9. It was, but $9 is cheaper than the cereal we were gonna buy at the gas station. Yeah. So. It was literally che cheaper to eat out and they go to the gas station. Yeah. So there you have it. And uh, the Sierras are looking good. That's a nice sunset. Also, this is a very lovely courthouse. It's beautiful. Henry has just noticed that these street sweepers have names. <laughs> this is the broom bear. This is the road wizard. And... Uh, I'm sad to report they do appear to be models. That one is also a road wizard. <sighs> I was hoping for gravel buster or something like that. Oh, we could call it gravel bu buster. It's road wizard, gravel buster for short. Or maybe my friends call me Gravel Buster. Broom Bear. Wow, look at that. That's where we're gonna be. Yeah, man, we coming.